tongue spitting out its seeds. It's great to have a place where you can go and actually know that there's going to be quality stuff or someone you can ask about stuff. And just It's just a different feeling like any other niche hobby that I like. I, I like to be able to go to a store where I, they know what I'm talking about. And for a band like us too, it's like we don't get stocked at Walmart or giant chains. So it's really the independent stores that if we're going to sell physical copies in a state or a city or a province where we don't tour, then it's the only way we can sell them really. It's just cool to still be able to go to a store to buy music. I think the used market is important too. Good music. Because we like, <laughs> there's been so much music, books, anything produced in the last 50 years that now there's this huge market of, of used stuff that people like us can get that it maybe isn't still being produced. And you need a quality store, bookstore, record store, whatever to siphon through all the crap that's out there so you're not. Some people love it, they thrive on like digging through a bin of junk and, and finding a, a great one. But a store like this, like he wasn't stocking, you know. 300 copies of what? What do you see the most? <laughs> yeah, what's something you see like every what was the one that you see? Moody yeah, Moody. yeah, you know. Uh, so it's great to have a, a, a store kind of curate for you what, what they think is like actual stuff that you're looking for.